Waiting for the train to pass, waiting for the plane to pass. I'm so close to a train station and an airport. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my first update for my Finish 6 by Solstice collab project pan. If you missed the introduction to this project, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards if you'd like to catch up. But this is a project where I'm planning to finish six products with one bonus by the Solstice, which is December 21st, and the day before my birthday. <laughs> so I've actually made a lot of progress on my products and I'm super excited to share that with you today so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these project pan videos and if you haven't and you like to hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. I also did film this look it was a bit of a roller coaster it's a full face of wet and wild and it's going to be coming up later this week so keep your eyes out for that video as well so let's go ahead and jump in the first product that i have is my burberry primer so i left this like standing outside of my drawer overnight so i could kind of see where the product is it's a bit hard to see but i can see through the light that i'm now down to here so i was up here in the intro and now i am down to here i really do like this primer i've been reaching for it fairly often the only thing is I don't think I can keep pumping out the primer once it gets like to the very bottom so I think I'm gonna have to start like storing it upside down and then just like pop off the lid because this whole lid part does come off and I can scrape out all the product inside so I think uh, sometime over the next week or two I'll just start storing it upside down and getting the product out that way if I do that, I definitely think I could finish this up by December 21st. The next product is one that's not really great for showing you progress on. This is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. I have the shade 201. I mean, I've been using it. I, I really should have thought through how I was gonna do progress check-ins on this but I have been using it there's definitely less in there than there was before I'm gonna keep using it and I'll just, just <laughs> I don't know maybe I'll do like a get ready with me where we can listen to the how much sprays out I don't know just again like I said in my intro we're probably not gonna be able to find out like where I'm at until this is gone but I'm still working on it the next product that i have is a concealer this is the kylie concealer in the shade bone i've been using this every day and there's still a lot of product in here there really is so i can see inside the bottle when i scrape at the sides but there's still a lot of product in here so i'm gonna keep using this every day and i'm gonna start storing it like this hopefully the product will kind of settle down so i can see where i'm at with this but this is one of the products where I think I might not finish it by December 21st just because I didn't realize like how far this goes. It's really good concealer and you really don't need to use a whole lot every time you use it. Even if I'm using it every day like under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. The next product that I've made so much progress on, it's actually almost completely gone. This is the Natasha Denona Invisible HD Face Powder. Let me open it up. And this is all that I have left. I'm actually gonna like scrape out the sides. I've got a little bit on the bottom and there's like a little bit on the lid. Next time you see this, it'll be cleaned out. I have been using this every day since the project started and I'm really enjoying it. I have actually gotten over my fear of it being gone. Like I no longer think, oh my God, I don't wanna finish it. It's gonna be gone. I'm thinking, oh my god, I actually loved it enough that I used the whole thing and I can't wait to use other powders in my collection, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy with that. The next two products are in my little Z palette and I did repress them like I said I was going to in my intro. So this is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer repressed and this is my The Balm, my The Balm, uh, The Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. So I have repressed both of them. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is a little bit softer since I repressed it. I really think I'm gonna make some great progress on the 
bronzer by the 21st, but I don't know if I'll finish the whole thing up. I am going to start using it every day now just to see how far I can get by the 21st. The face powder, I don't think I'm going to have any problem using up because I can go through that face powder like nobody's business. I'm actually really glad that I repressed both of these. It's making it a lot easier to use. If you missed the video, I did do all about repressing makeup. I'll throw that up in the cards if you guys do want to check that out and learn, like find out how I repress my makeup. And the last product, I'm actually also almost completely done with. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And this is all that I have left just that little bit left right there. So I really think I can finish this up within the next week or so. Then I'll have enough products to actually back to MAC. So I'm really happy I was able to almost finish this. I'll definitely have this done by the end of this week because I do prime my eyes daily. I just think that these paint pots are such a great value for your money. I know we can scoff at the $20 price pack. pack. I know we can scoff at the $20 price tag up front, but this is months of use as an eye primer, and it's one of the best eye primers out there. I cannot recommend these highly enough. I really, really, really enjoyed this, and I can't wait to back to MAC. I wish I could get another one of these when back to Macking, but no. So I think when I back to MAC, I'm gonna get a uh, single eyeshadow, and I'm probably gonna pick up another paint pot, just to actually purchase one while I'm there, because I enjoyed the two of those so much. So those are all of my updates for my finished six by Solstice. I am really excited at the progress that I've made so far, and I think I'm gonna finish at least the majority of them by December 21st. I will do one more update once we actually hit December, just to kind of give you guys, you know, an update right before the end, and then the finale will be going up on the 21st. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.